Good Wednesday evening, everyone. It's 21 News. Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It's the video we call Weather for Weather Geese. Just a reminder, in case you missed my annual winter forecast, we released it last Thursday. You can check out the extended version of that on my YouTube channel. Go to ericwfmj.com. That's my blog. If you can, you can find the video there. You can also find the written kind of blog version of that winter forecast right there on ericwfmj.com. Uh, Things are going according to plan as far as the winter forecast. It's only six days old, but I don't see anything to really uh, really uh, be worried about as far as the forecast just yet. Check that out uh, for, for details on what we expect during the upcoming winter. Here in November, though, the story has been how nice it's been of late. We've had a lot of unusually sunny November days, usually getting into that time of the year where we have clouds more often. But today, time lapse from uh, our Canfield Fairgrounds uh, camera shows the blue skies this morning some increase in clouds around midday early afternoon but then the sky cleared again late in the afternoon nice sunset this evening just after 5 p.m with a very thin crescent moon up in the sky <clears throat> for tonight 63 on the high side today i think we'll do even better tomorrow after 27 this morning i don't think we'll be as cold tomorrow morning most of us above freezing as Thursday gets underway, and uh, we should make it uh, into the mid-60s without much trouble coming up on our Thursday. Of course, the story has been the lack of rainfall. I've been harping on this a lot lately on this video, but some of the numbers pretty impressive. Only .03 for the month and for the season, we're running a deficit over 4 inches. And for the year now, in 2023, we're actually running a deficit that is approaching 4.5 inches because we've had several pretty prolonged dry periods in 2023, one especially late in the spring, early in the summer, another late summer, another one here in the middle of the autumn season uh, with very little rain over the last couple of weeks. All right, in the meantime, sky's clearing this evening. Nice quiet night out there for tonight, and again, not quite as chilly as last night. We'll zip through Futurecast here, uh, at least in the short term, because there's nothing to show you for Thursday. We're expecting a good deal of sunshine once again, just a few fair weather clouds. Now, the timing on the rain Friday. If you're an early morning riser, you might encounter a shower early in the day, but most of us will get wet towards lunchtime and into the afternoon on Friday as this cold front pushes in. Several hours of steady rain fairly likely, again starting around midday, taking us through at least early to mid-afternoon. Now this may become a little more scattered as we get into the evening, but still we're going to allow for at least a chance of showers for several hours into the evening on Friday evening before the raindrops push away, leaving us with a fair amount of sunshine for the upcoming weekend, but definitely a chill in the air as we uh, kick off the weekend. This will easily be our wettest day of November so far. We had 0 .03 at the airport on the very first day of the month, but I think a lot of us will see all up, up to about a half an inch worth of rain uh, between Friday and Friday night. This is kind of a broad map view when we look at the individual models across our area. You, know, you can see some of the modeling here is pretty aggressive, pushing a half an inch or so. I think these numbers are a little bit high on the top end. I think we're somewhere more in here probably a third of an inch to a half an inch or so worth of rain pretty likely Friday and early Friday night after a quiet weekend let's talk about next week I'm actually going to uh, rewind the clock here we're gonna have a pre Thanksgiving storm that pushes through the eastern US now the impacts locally for pre holiday travelers if you happen to be hitting the roads or have people coming into town on Tuesday it's not snow but it's rain that we'll encounter I think rains gonna be pretty likely on Tuesday notice all the isobars on the map here probably a pretty breezy day on Tuesday. Now, as this system heads to our east and colder air starts wrapping in behind it on Wednesday, and Wednesday traditionally, the Wednesday and Sunday of Thanksgiving weekend, traditionally some of the busiest travel days of the year. And so again, if you're heading to the airport or hitting the road on Wednesday, if you have people coming into town on Wednesday, this map may look a little ominous. I do think there'll be some snowflakes here and there, but locally in our viewing area, I don't think this is probably a big deal. It doesn't look like it at this point. Now, could there be some accumulations? of snow up in the primary snow belts and especially right along the Lake Erie shoreline Wednesday into Wednesday night, that's going to be possible. We're a week out here. Um, but right now, the way the modeling kind of depicts this is it's a little bit more of a westerly wind as opposed to a northwesterly wind, so I'd be a little more concerned about maybe some accumulations up towards I-90. Locally, probably not that many problems. It's just going to be brisk and cold. If you're flying in or out of Pittsburgh, if you have people coming into town, into the Pittsburgh airport, I don't think it'll be much of a a big thing down there. Maybe a little bit different for a time up at Hopkins Airport in Cleveland. But either way, things are probably going to quiet down in time for Thanksgiving itself. This is next Wednesday evening. One model depiction, but it kind of jives with a lot of our other modeling. I think a drier push of air will uh, make inroads as we go towards Thanksgiving. Although it's going to be chilly. Uh, we're talking highs probably not much better than the 
lower 40s for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And there might be times over the holiday weekend, Thanksgiving through Sunday, which we don't get out of the 30s. So, yeah, our winter forecast includes a, uh, a pretty good chance of a mild December. But before we get to that pattern, uh, the end of November, including Thanksgiving weekend, does look pretty chilly this time around. Thank you for watching tonight's Weather for Weather Geek coming up on Thursday. We'll take another look at Friday's rain timing and amounts, the weekend forecast, and of course more details on the pre-Thanksgiving low pressure system coming our way next week.